you initially called this liberal budget wasteful, inflammatory budget, and you and your party will not be um, supporting it. Inflationary. So what do you make of question period this afternoon, you know, hearing from the liberals as they continue to push for it, and as well as really what lies with the NDP and leader Jagmeet Singh as far as to support or not support this? Well, let's put it this way. Ask yourself, who pays? Who pays for the $53 billion of brand new spending? Who pays? That works up to $3,000 for every family in Canada in brand new spending in one budget. You pay. You pay if you are a single mom whose food price is going to go up because the carbon tax on the farmers and truckers that bring food to your home has gone up. You pay because the deficit is driving up interest rates on your mortgage and you might lose your home. You pay if you're a 37-year-old living in mom's basement because Justin Trudeau broke his promise to you that you'd have more affordable housing and then went on to double the cost of homes. You have been paying for too long for him. He has doubled housing costs, driven two million people to the food bank, and now he's making everything worse and more costly. It's time to fire Justin Trudeau because you have paid enough. And you are renewing your call when it comes to a carbon tax election in order to replace the prime minister. Is that correct? Yes, and it's very stark. Trudeau plans to quadruple the carbon tax all the way up to 61 cents a liter. He has the full support of Jagmeet Singh and the NDP. So on the one hand, you'll have the carbon tax coalition of Singh and Trudeau, who want to jack the tax up to 61 cents a liter, drive up your food and heating bills, or the common sense conservatives who will ax the tax. Now, you mentioned when it comes to housing, because, of course, that was a large portion of the budget that was tabled, uh, you actually brought up Prime Minister Trudeau's 2015 platform in question period this afternoon and essentially mentioning that it's been nine years and that Canadians have not seen much of a difference. What is your take then when it comes to what needs to be done with the housing affordability crisis that we have in our country? Well, my take is that he promised yesterday what he promised nine years ago, the same promises, the same programs, and the same billions of dollars of bureaucracy that have doubled the cost of housing since he took office are not going to fix the problem he created. Uh, rather, we need a common sense plan to build the homes. We have the fewest homes per capita in the G7, even though we have the most land, the most lumber, and we spend the most money on home building. Why? Mm -hmm. Because of bur bureaucracy. Um, it takes too long to get building permits, the second slowest in the OECD. And that's why I'm going to require municipalities speed up and lower the cost of permits, free up land to build. They'll be required to permit 15 percent more home building, including high density sky rises around every federally funded transit station as a condition of getting money from my government. Furthermore, I will sell off 6,000 federal buildings and thousands of acres of federal land to build, 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 and I will ax the carbon tax to lower the cost of building material transportation so that we can build the homes that you can afford. Are you confident in Jagmeet Singh that he will support or not support this budget moving forward, which would, of course, trickle into an election if he does not support this? Let's be honest. Jagmeet Singh is only concerned about his pension. I mean, let's cut the crap, right? He, he has to wait until January of 2025 to be eligible for a pension. So he's worried that if the election happens and he loses, he won't have a pension. So he's making everyone pay the massive bill of keeping Justin Trudeau around so that he can get to pension eligibility and uh, continue to fund his uh, fancy suits and watches and beamers. And that's what he's all about. Uh, it's a greedy uh, position, but it's, uh, that's what you got with Jag and Justin, a costly coalition that tax your food, punish your work, take your money, double your housing costs, and unleash crime and chaos in your community. But when the carbon tax election happens, you'll be able to elect a, a common sense government that will ax the tax build the homes, fix the budget, and stop the crime.